Hello everyone, this video will present the solution to example 7 on rotated vessels. So this is the problem, an open top cylindrical tank is 0.5 meter in radius, 1.6 meters high, contains a liquid 1.2 meters deep. Determine the following, the maximum angular speed about the vertical axis of the tank without spilling any, what, any liquid in revolutions per minute. The corresponding slope of the tangent line at a radial distance 0.5 meter from the axis of rotation in degrees. Next, the angular speed in RPM if one third of the original content will be spilled. The angular speed in RPM if one fifth of the original content will be spilled. And the last, the angular speed in RPM when only 20% of the original content will be left. So to analyze, to help analyze the situation, let's draw the figure first showing the details. So the radius of the tank open top 0.5 meter, the overall height 1.6. It contains 1.2 meters of liquid, therefore this empty depth is 0.4 which is K. 1.6 minus 1.2. So for number one, the angular speed about the vertical axis of the tank without spilling any liquid. So the maximum height of the parabolic surface, imaginary parabolic surface of zero pressure will be double that of 0.4, so 2 times 0.4. And we equate that to the formula 0.0005589 omega square radius 0.5 square. So that omega is in revolutions per minute. So solving for omega, 75.67 revolutions per minute. For the second question, the corresponding slope, so tangent of data slope is omega square x over g, that's the general formula where x here is r 0.5 and omega must be in revolutions, must be in regions per second rather. So since we have found omega in part 1, we just multiply this by pi over 30 to automatically convert that to radians per second. So tangent theta is 75.67 times pi over 30 quantity squared times 0.5 over 9.81. So using the calculator, theta is 72.65 degrees. Then for the third question, the angular speed, if one third of the original content will be spilled. So that means one third of 1.2. So let's remove that. One third of 1.2 is 0.4. Therefore, if we if we assume that the paraboloid of revolution, imaginary paraboloid, is still within the tank, so if we double 2 times 0.4 plus 1.2 over 3, that's 1.6. So therefore, the vortex will exactly form on the bottom center. So this should be the parabolic surface. So the height is automatic 1.6 and therefore substitute into this equation here. So 1.6 equals 0 0.0005589 omega square 0.5 square. So for this situation, the angular speed is equal to 107.0 revolutions per minute. Then 7.4 is, is almost the same as 7.3, but this time one fifth of the original content will be spilled, so lesser in value. So this should be the figure for part 4, and this is only one fifth of 1.2, so 0.24. So if we double 2 times quantity 0.4 plus 0.24, that would be, that should be less than 1.6, so that, that's automatic, the height, and it, it is still within the cylindrical tank. So therefore, 1.28 is equated to this formula here, 0 0.0005589 omega square 0.5 square, so the angular speed for part 4 is 95.71 revolutions per minute. Then finally, the angular speed when only 20% of the original content will be left. So that means we expect that the paraboloid, imaginary paraboloid revolution will be extending beyond the 
tank and therefore we cannot use anymore the same concept as before so let's analyze this so that means this is 0.2 of 1.2 so 0.24 meter then this above this horizontal line will be the final volume of air which is represented by which is also equal to the volume of paraboloid with two bases one is 0.5 and the other is unknown so we will denote the radius of the exposed area here as r sub 5 on the bottom and the height from the vertex to that end bottom center as y5 the total height of the paraboloid of revolution is denoted by h so therefore this distance which is the height of final height of air is 1.6 minus 0.24 1.36 so we equate first the volume of paraboloid of revolution represented by air this one with two bases to this volume of air above this horizontal line so that we can solve for r5 and apply squared property of parabola to solve for y5 then y5 plus 1.6 that's the height total height of the paraboloid before we apply it into this formula so pi over 2 times 0.5 square plus r5 square times 1.6 equals final volume of air which is this pi 0.5 square times 1.36 so this is the volume of paraboloid of revolution with two bases. Solving for R5 square, not R5 but R5 square, 0.175 meter square. Then apply squared property of parabola Y5 as to R5 square. So Y5 as to 0.175 equals Y5 plus 1.6 as to uh, 0.5 square. That is just 0.5 square for the overall parabola. So solving for Y5, it is equal to 3.733 meters. Therefore, the total height of this parabola or paraboloid of revolution is 3.733 plus 1.6. Y5 plus 1.6. So H is 3.733 plus 1.6 and it is 5.333 meters. Substitute 5.333 equals 0 0.005589 omega square 0.5 square. And we can now finally compute omega. So this is just one analysis. This is my way of thinking the problem. There are other uh, way of analyzing this situation, but make sure that the final answers are the same.